Hey guys, Josh Grison here, coming at you with another Starlink update video. Uh, I know it's been a few days, um, it's actually been a couple weeks since I've been able to make a new video. I owe you guys some content. Um, I have the Stadia subscription that I'm going to do a video on, but I wanted to make a quick video because there's been some recent news that popped up and I figured everybody should know. I don't think everybody gets these emails. Uh, I got something from Starlink this morning that uh, provides an update on a couple different things that's been going on. So I'll just kind of give you guys that, that brief summary of what the email says. It came out, I got it at 11.23 this morning, so 23 minutes ago. And basically, the it covers three or four uh, important things here that I think are interesting for folks that are kind of paying attention to the Starlink space. Um, so it mentions that they moved 500 satellites uh, to improve coverage. So for folks that are seeing gaps in coverage, they're, they're making incremental changes to the orbits of certain satellites. Um, and they're thinking that that will substantially improve the user experience in Q1 of 2021. And in addition to that, they are improving the NAT types. A network address translation is what NAT, NAT stands for. Um, the upgraded Starlink Wi-Fi router uh, will be better for gaming, basically. So they're going to make some improvements for NAT. So that way you can do gaming and uh, P2P uh, file sharing. Um, they also made some improvements for Xbox, Xbox Live. So uh, there was a bug evidently where the Starlink Wi-Fi router, if you're using the Starlink Wi-Fi router for your wireless and not your own, um, it was causing packet loss during Xbox Live gaming and connection diagnostics. So uh, they're fixing that bug. Um, they're working on improving the latency they're saying that the boundary between different cell service regions, overall latency will continue to improve as we deploy more satellites, install more gateways and upgrade our software. So evidently there are certain folks that are in jurisdictions where the boundary between different cell uh, service regions was uh, causing them to have more latency than maybe some other folks were experiencing. And then the other update they, they put in the email was about snow melt mode. So they deployed basic snow melt mode during which Starlink produces additional heat to mitigate signal attenuation caused by snow buildup on the face of the user terminal. So yeah, uh, it does melt the snow and evidently they make, they are making an update to the snow melt mode. So it, I think it already had some level of, of snow melting ability, um, but they're actually deploying a snow melt mode, which I guess will make the, the heat even higher um, than what maybe people are seeing in previous weeks here. So people did notice that the surface of the uh, dish was pretty warm. So uh, I think it always has a, a certain temperature that it operates at, but maybe this is a, a higher temperature. So maybe we can do some testing on that. Um, the, the other big announcement that was in the email is the new year will bring an expansion of the better than nothing beta program, which is what a lot of people are curious to learn about. Um, the Starlink team is planning a broader rollout as early as Q1 2021 with continuous upgrades along the way. So a lot more people should be beginning to get invitations if they haven't gotten them already in Q1, which is kind of on par with what they've been saying uh, in Twitter and some other um, communications that I've seen. So um, I thought that was a pretty interesting email. It's good to see uh, this update coming out. And uh, so yeah, in summary, it's re repositioning some satellites, improve uh, network address translation for, for gaming and P2P, uh, Xbox Live bug fixes, improve user latency over time, and then snowmelt mode was being deployed. And then Q1, we're going to see a lot more beta program access um, being provided to folks. So that's the update here. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll be coming at you pretty quickly with a new video showing how well Stadia works on uh, a wired connection with Starlink. So I know quite a few people have been asking about that. So I did want to get that out. And uh, I finally have some time to do that here in the next couple days. So look for that coming shortly. And uh, we'll talk to you next time.